on board your board. Let's get this over with. <laughs> well, look who's here. New recruits. Well, <laughs> let's fuck some shit up. <coughs> Why did you do that? I, uh, uh, who are you? My name is Tai Lung. True Dragon Warrior. This, that's what I thought. Tell me, boy, why do you see it fitting to hurl yourself off a building? From what I saw, you weren't planning on surviving. Yeah, Izuku, he's silent. Oh yeah, this is 14 year old Izuku in which All Might has told him that yes, he cannot be a hero. So that happened still. And yeah, he decided to take uh, Koski's advice. <clears throat> Onto the story. I, uh, well, because I can't be a hero. That's not an excuse to die. Who says you can't be a hero? I don't have a quirk. What's a quirk? Uh, I mean, like, you, you, you seem to have a snow leopard. Uh, I am a snow leopard. So you're a quirk animal? No. Where I'm from, I don't even know what you are. I, I'm a human? Whatever. So, who said you can't be a hero? Everyone. Even someone who I thought was... <sighs> well, whatever these quirk things are, trust me, you don't need one. You saw what I did to save you? That was training. I don't have a quirk, though yes I am a snow leopard. That comes in handy, but... I'm sure you can still be one you're just gonna need more help than regular people in this world really yes uh, you really think I can of course now don't go jumping off any more buildings <sighs> If this kid, he's, hey, what's your name? Uh, he's good. Well, how about this? I will train you to awaken the greatness inside of you. You will not only be a hero, you will be the greatest under my guidance. Do you accept? I, really? Of course. In fact, this All Might, or whoever he was, all those who doubted you will see how great you really are. I swear to you. Being the number one hero, perhaps not. But your greatness will be known. Izuku jumps at this opportunity. Boy, just the words. But, <clears throat> if anything, yes, he's pretty much all for it. If he can become a hero, he... 
especially when it comes to proving Koski and everyone else wrong. Though he does doesn't really see his mom as one of the people who really doubted him, she didn't say yes. She didn't say he could be a hero. <laughs> Hmm. If I think, when he tells his mom that yeah, he's found someone to train him, to teach him, to be a hero, she's <laughs> rightfully worried, concerned. Like, who is this person? Who's upon seeing Tai Lung? He's like, uh, are you sure about this? Trust me, Miss. Midoriya, your son will not be harmed, per se. He'll be able to defend himself and protect others as a hero. This, I swear. And yeah, Jailong, he spits he speaks a, a good game. He's, he's good, good when it comes to his words. So Inko, seeing the gleam in Izuku's eyes, seeing the seriousness and bass in Tai Lung's tone, is okay. Izuku's training, let's say, is lighter compared to Tai Lung's, because to those who know from the movie, Tai Lung trained a lot. Harder than some of the others, especially Poe. When, when you think about how he was trained, he trained till his bones broke, cracked, whatever. He put himself through the ringer just to get a scroll. But when it comes to him training Kazuku, he realizes how much stress that Shifu was actually under considering that he was a student as well of Uwe. He didn't want to disappoint his master just like Tai Lung didn't want to disappoint Shifu. So learning from that is pretty much like yeah. I will help this boy reach unimaginable heights. That is no doubt. The training that Izuku undergoes would definitely break some weaker willed people, but much to Tai Lung's amazement, Izuku is determined. His drive to be a hero is much greater than some others. Which not only impresses Tai Lung, but having this new enlightened esque state when it comes to himself, he does re remember his his uh, moments in the spirit realm when Kai came after him, and uh, yeah, I realize Tai Lung was. I think one of the only jade zombies that didn't come out. I don't know if this was actually Tai Lung or another stole leopard, but either way, Tai Lung was the only one that Kai, I believe Kai didn't want to give up. So if anything, having this new enlightened mindset yeah, she does start to use chi slowly, but surely he's actually come across it. Because Tyler is a genius when it comes to his mastery. Which is sad how he turned out, but... <sighs> It wasn't completely his fault. But Izuku, being such a 
loyal, caring person. Whatever Tai Lung does start to have a little, little bit of a temper tantrum. Izuku was there to at least calm him down or at least talk to him. And wherever Izuku's being bullied, Tai Lung is there not fighting his battles, but allowing Izuku to at least try to grow a backbone. What I mean by this, he grow. <laughs> yeah. He's trying to help Izuku actually grow up here, which it actually does start to build up his confidence once he does actually start to land more hits on Bakugo and his goons. He may not win, but showing that he's not scared of fighting back, Bakugo's pissed. It's one thing for a boy to get someone who they can mess with and push around but when they start pushing back yeah this is like what the hell happened and yes this is for the whole 10 months training Izuku yeah he's got more more muscle mass he's gotten a lot better at using his head to a point where yeah he just writes down more and more when it comes to his journals and since he's not rushing when it comes to really training he can blend in that especially when it comes to his studies so when it comes to the actual theoretical exam he does a lot better but when it comes to the practical, that's a whole new monster. Considering that, yes, he is stronger. He's still a kid and he's still developing and you could say metal still hurts like a bitch. So as far as destroying them, he can't. When it comes to deactivating via the buttons. Oh yeah, snow leopards are beasts, damn it. If, if you ever see one, just know you're already dead. Especially if, in their, if it's in their habitat. So, and Tai Lung? The links he went to? Oh, that's a whole new monster. I'm not kidding. So yes, he is scaling walls with his bare hands. Everyone's looking at how, when it comes to parkour, that is one of the main things he had to learn. He had to learn how to scale walls and hop from building to building. He may not be the fastest, he may not be the strongest, but his technique is flawless when it comes to free running parkour. And when he does actually punch, a robot it hurts but he sees this as more training to strengthen himself he saves people game hero points he deactivates robots by finishing that deactivation switch he gets hero points but one thing that will never change is his will to want to be a hero to save people so when someone Oraka gets trapped. He knows he won't be fast enough to get to that deactivation button. But he knows he has to try. So once it tries to step on her, he stops it. But then he starts to waver. Hers the anyway, what are you doing? Why are you saving me? Because that's what heroes do. As his green aura starts to surround him, he starts to lift up the robot easily, and uh, he topples it. Yeah, that thing is down. 
which gives Izuku just enough time to deactivate it, and then the test is over. Izuku may not have gotten the most points. Let's say he's second place, right behind Bakugo. I had to be realistic from time to time, but that display was amazing. All the teachers in Izu are looking at this boy as like, what is this kid's quirk? All Might seeing this like, wait, that, that, that's... I know him. But really? Yeah, that's that's the kid I. I thought he didn't have a quirk. What? He told me he was quirkless, but how did he? <sighs> no, 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 that can't be. Did he get to him? What are you talking about? All oh my. N nothing. Nezu, I'm. Uh. Let's talk in private. Uh. Very well. She wish. In which? Yes. They're in Nezu's office. They're thinking, okay, so what seems to have you so worried? That boy. I I know him. Really? Huh. That's impressive. So, what seems to have you so worried? He told me he was quirkless. He even asked me if, a, if someone could become a hero without a quirk. I don't understand. Hmm. Well, that would just mean he's possibly a late bloomer, but look at this. Just showing Izuku's file. Like he, it says here that he's quirkless, but that green energy, the fact that he was able to lift the zero point or at least topple it, that's, that's not normal. Well, uh, hmm. If anything... We'll keep an eye on him. But for now, we should just pretend nothing's wrong. Are, are you serious? Yes. It may cause a pr pretty big panic if we just go around saying that a villain has infiltrated. Way. And what if we're wrong? What if he is a late bloomer? You know what? Yeah, yeah, maybe, maybe you're right. But still. Calm down, Toshinori. I'm sure there's an explanation. Oh, yeah. Thank you. <sighs> I'm... Uh, this is just... A lot. Believe me. I... I understand. Uh, yes, Izuku, he goes straight to Tai Lung after he... Pulls stuff away from home. He starts talking about how... He was doing great. He racked up this many points with the one, two, three pointers, but it was the zero pointer that really helped him to stand out. Because not only did he run it in there like a bat out of hell, he actually lifted it and toppled it. So, hmm. You felt stronger. Yes? Yeah. Can you, think you could do it again. What? How did you feel? I, uh... I felt like I... need to help. Like someone... was counting on me, and... I had to win. I couldn't... lose that time. Hmm. Alright. How about this? 
try as yeah Tai Lung starts glowing as Izuku's like wait what is that it's called Chi boy uh, really yes you you try uh, but I don't know focus on the feeling you had when you were saving that girl Really? You think that wouldn't work? Yeah, possibly. Oh, okay. Izuku trying to reconnect with his emotions at that moment. Closing his eyes, visualizing the exact time where he, he saw the look on Horaka's face. It was fear, her asking why is he doing this? He could get himself killed. As then he starts glowing too. Open your eyes. Upon Izuku actually looking at this, realizing what he's obtained, Tai Lung is. Hmm. Seems like you are a genius. Just like me. What? Ah, yes. This is not easily obtained. Some could try for years, yet never get to the level that we've achieved. Some give up. Others don't have the conviction. But you and me are special. Though we do this for our selfish reasons. We truly have nothing to prove to anyone but ourselves. And from what I've heard from you, you've proved yourself to be a hero. Well done. As yeah, Izuku is beyond overjoyed hearing that from someone to the point where yes he just runs in and hugs Tai Lung Tai Lung what are you doing thank you for acknowledging me thank you for saving me that day Tai Lung doesn't know what to really say He's so, best he can do is just hug Izuku back, patting him on the back. Just say, no problem. It kind of awkward, but it's it's a heartwarming feeling. But then he has to go home and tell Inko how it went. Her <laughs> hearing him out, the zero part almost faints. Yeah, almost gives her a heart attack, but hearing that he has something that isn't a quirk, something that, hell, people wish they could obtain, but possibly can't, without God knows how many years of devotion, just to be able to shine like he does. The fact that he can actually use it, and Tai Lung, before... With no chi at all? Yeah, he could easily destroy a, a building. So yes, I powered this motherfucker up! As well as Izuku. They can't destroy mountains like a... Uh, all Might. But... They're not ones to take lightly. But as Izuku just looks around in his room, seeing everything he's collected that's All Might related, something just rings in his ears over and over again. Sorry, kid. You can't be a hero. This starts to really 
get on his nerves. He starts to sleep on the couch. He goes, like, what's wrong? Like, if, I, if I had to sleep in that room with all that all my crap, I am going to destroy it. And yeah, Ingo being how she is, she's worried like hell. Like, oh, oh. what do you want to do with it? Get, get rid of it. All of it. I want a shred of anything that has anything at all to do with that asshole. Uh, uh, did you just... Uh, oh, um, I, uh... I'm s I'm sorry, I didn't it's it's fine. I just I thought you liked All Might. I, I did. Not anymore. All Might's overrated. I I'm I'm sleeping in the living room tonight. I'll I'll get started on removing everything tomorrow. Oh, okay. Next day, yeah, Izuku does exactly that. He starts to take down every poster, every figurine. Hell, he did end up getting a All My Sorograph, but he just ripped it out of his notebook and was about to crumple it up. I was like, no, I can sell this. Then he's like, no, yeah. Oh, this is money I could be making right now. And so, yeah, he packs up all his all my memorabilia, everything from videos of his fights to yeah, he does not care anymore because of all my. So as soon as all my yeah, all my stuff is gone, he starts replacing all that stuff with more martial art esque. Um, stuff like uh, you could say weapons that Ego would wouldn't have to worry about him hurting anybody like nunchucks. Which seriously, if you can use nunchucks effectively, I I applaud you. He does get some blades and whatnot, much to Ego's worriedness. But upon demonstrating his mastery. Or them, she's still doesn't want him having them, but at least knows that he won't hurt himself. But it's when he actually st he starts, uh, hmm. you could say when he actually starts y using more martial arts, he starts training at home as well. Not just with Tai Lung. As he's waiting for his acceptance letter. He knows. If he failed. Fuck, fuck it. I don't care. I'll go somewhere else. I don't need UA. Is his mindset. I don't need to be there. To be a hero. And yeah. When he gets accepted. He's happy. Not as happy as he would be before. But he knows. like This is it. This is the beginning of my new life. But when it comes to the whole, uh, you know, Tai Lung and All Might, as soon as he sees All Might, he's already pissed. But then he's like, uh, you passed, you got second place. It's like, bump, done, broke it, and just threw it away. It go busting in his room. like, what, what was that? I heard something break. He's like, I passed. Where's the letter? Oh, it wasn't the letter, it was hall disk. I broke it. Afterwards. Oh. R really? Yeah. yeah. D don't worry about it, Mom. I'm, I'm fine. Oh. Okay. Uh, are you sure you're alright? Oh, I'm more than alright. The first day of UA. Bakugo is beyond piss when he learns that how close Izuku was to beating him. 
Let's say he didn't save Waraka. He allowed her to get hurt. All he needed was one point to tie with Bakugo and so on to surpass him. So the fact that it was that close, he was that close to losing or tying with someone he bullied, someone he ridiculed, sends him to a rage fueled mindset. So when he tries to like put your feet down, Bakugo's a rage to start blowing shit up. Him actually aiming for his chest, but this is when Izuku does show up and is like, Hi, my name is Izuku Midoriya. Oh, right. You're here. As Ida sees him and just runs up and says, like, I am, I am amazed at your quirk. It's, it's so versatile. How are you, were you able to do such amazing tasks and... That wasn't a quirk. I'm quirkless. I would appreciate it if you didn't assume something like that. Him just walking off. Baku goes. So he is quirkless. He, I almost lost to him. Him trying to keep his composure, but it is a lot more difficult than you think. Especially when you have a Bakugo esque mindset. But one thing he can definitely say is that Izuku has never beaten him. Well, technically, he's never beaten him. Because whenever Bakugo will start messing with Izuku, start bullying him, you could say. Yeah, Bakugo's goons were there to make it an uneven fight. Upon realizing this, that means that Bakugo has never beaten Izuku in a one-on-one -on -one fight. Though he's beating them up and bullied him and whatnot, that's not that's different from actual fighting. Picking on someone, punching them a little bit, that's nothing. A brawl, a fight, is different. It's when... <laughs> It's supposed to be usually one on one, but Boggle's been having an advantage that wasn't exactly his quirk. So that uh, him just barely being able to beat Izuku by one point, it gets to him. And seeing Izuku in the same class as him makes it even much more worse. When it comes to the quirk apprehension test, I know what does want Izuku to set out since he doesn't have a quirk, but Izuku's like, trust me, I got this. Him grabbing the ball, it's not as, it's not no infinity or anything, but it's enough to make it so Bakugo is definitely questioning his uh, quirklessness. But this is when I was like, why weren't you trying your hardest? Huh? Everyone's like, what? Pretty much, yeah, like, uh, what do you mean he wasn't trying? Like, yeah, why didn't that green energy you were using before in the entrance exam? Uh, you were the, you were watching? Yes. Plus, I was told, just for good measure, use it, or I will expel you right on the spot. Heroes can't be allowed to half-ass it. As, okay. He infuses the ball with chi, as well as in... And enhancing his arm and leg, everything to the point where you're uh, blowing him up, hurting him would be a lot more difficult with that barrier. As soon as he throws it, it, it starts going the same way, but then Izuku tries to focus the key, the little chi he put in there, and Shoots it off even further. Aizawa seeing, huh, 
at first, yeah, it's a, it's a lot farther than it would be before. But then that shoot, that little spike he did, whatever, that was what really, hmm, second place. Right behind Ororaka. Bakugo hearing that is like, I lost? Izuku looking back at him with a smirk. Yeah. You may have beaten me in the interest of Zam. But here, I beat you. As the rest of the tests go a lot easier than can when it comes to Izuku's scores to a point where yeah he's not on chopping block the Gakure and Mineta are though yes Mineta is uh, uh, in all accounts a perv that no one likes to be around like if he was expelled no one really to give a damn especially considering his motives a Gakure Izuku Honestly, God, I feel sorry for her. Yeah, though she has a quirk and whatnot. She's pretty much quirkless if all she has is invisibility. But Izuku actually sees potential when it comes to her quirk usage. Though, yes, yeah, she's technically exposed if she wants to fully utilize it. He vouches for them both. He sees potential of both their quirks. The only thing is, when it comes to Moneta, he's pretty much like, he's bowing before Izuku, thanking him for trying to save him. Agakure trying her best to pretty much like, no, you don't have to do that. Moneta's like, shut up, woman. Come on, damn it. He's trying to save us. Let him do. Let him be a, the hero he, he, he's trying to be. This is when I was like, oh, oh yeah, that. I was kidding. What? Yeah, I, I wasn't serious. I just wanted you guys to try your hardest. Especially you, Mr. Midoriya. Having you be the only one here without a quirk. Is like. Wait, so he's really quirkless? So, he, yes. As, yeah, he's like, uh, do that uh, glowy thing again. Hmm? What, why? He's like, do it. As which, as soon as he starts glowing, everyone sees it. Bungo's like, fucker, you lied me this whole time. I knew you had a quirk. I knew this was some bullshittery of nonsensification. As, yes, he tries to charge at Izuku, but Izuku's already gone and chops him in the back of the head. Giving Bungo, you can say, a flashback of Mitsuki. Everyone looking like, wait, what just happened as... Like, See? He is quirkless. If it was a quirk, he wouldn't be able to, to use that glowing thing or whatever. What? Yep. Wait. Oh, now I understand. You're a racer head. You, you know me. Of course. I mean, yes, you're an underground hero, but you are still someone to be respected and. Hmm. Interesting. Oh well. Yes. His abilities are not being, uh, not of a quirk. Uh, yeah, this is when Ojiro was like, so what is, is it, is it, oh, uh, what I use is Chi. And he's like, 
Nani? Yeah, I use chi. Everyone's like, what the hell is that? Ojo's like, that's something that takes a long time. And usually the only ones that can really do it are possibly ancient who devote their lives to a martial art, but you can use it? Yeah. Can you teach me? Uh, what? Please? Everyone's like, uh, this is getting weird for me. As that is how this part ends.